Hello everyone, Earned a Worm here, and today I have three of the DC Funko Mystery Minis to open, and then I have, I think, three more unrelated items in the Play-Doh egg, but there are some pretty cool blind bags in there, and if you've seen my last Play-Doh egg I made, you know why I just crammed a battering in some Play-Doh, because that last one was not pretty. And that is why I do not make Play-Doh eggs. But I do like the concept. I do have a lot of YouTube friends who make some really spectacular ones. So let's start with these three blind boxes. And I want to open this one first because the flap was kind of already opened on it. So let's see who we got. And we have a Power Girl. The third power girl for this household. Okay. On to our next one. And there's all the characters you can get. Okay. Let's just hope it's not another power girl. Nice. We got Superman. And this is the first Superman I've got. And his cape is a little softer than I thought it would be. That's pretty cool. So that's a good one. I like him. He's got a huge head. On to number three. And then we will get into our Play-Doh egg. I thought this one felt a little heavy. We got Lex Luthor. He is really cool. I like his power armor. Really nice. Really cool. He's just a 1 in 24. But pretty cool. Set him up there. Okay, now let's get into our Play-Doh egg. Before I do that, I will tell you that this is a real battering made of metal. They are really cool. I have never thrown them at anything because I didn't want to break the tips or anything. But, yeah, those are really cool. I actually have a small little display stand for them that I built from Legos. Okay, so let's get into this. See what we got. Okay, first we have a Connects Plants vs. Zombies Series 2 blind bag. So let's open it up. See who we got inside. Come on, the zombie. Okay, and we got one of the zombies, so let me get it put together and we'll have a look at it. Okay, and there he is put together. He's a frozen zombie, or ice zombie, I guess. But man, his head was hard to get on. His hands were kind of hard to get in. He was a little bit hard to put together. But he's a pretty cool little Kinex figure. Set him down there. Next, we have a pack of Teeny Freaks. And I have been sitting on this pack of these for a long time. So I figured what better time than now to open these. There ain't one. That's the answer. Okay. There's a puzzle piece that we'll never put together. So we'll just set them down. And our first one is this zookeeper. Which I think I've got a couple times. The other side is the werewolf. But this one is a new one for me and is a really cool one. It's this cute, inconspicuous little girl. And then it's this creepy doll. Looks like something from Nightmare Before Christmas. But that's a cool one. I like that one. Okay, and lastly we have this Hobbit. An Unexpected Journey dog tag. So let's open it up and see who we got. Okay, and we got 
one of the elves. Really nice. I think it's a tattoo. Temporary, of course. Got this nice carabiner, not for climbing, or D hook, whatever you want to call it. Get a checklist. And a dog tag. So let's see who we got. Oh, nice. We got Bilbo Baggins, the main character. So there he is out of the pack. Really cool. I really loved these movies. Bilbo Baggins. But that's all we have for this video. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And Toy Review Land, I have not forgot about you. If you still haven't got this, I will ship him out to you. So, thanks everyone for watching and bye.